I am in Oakland, California, where the bizarre and strange orange glow has completely taken over the Bay Area thanks to the multiple wildfires that we have ongoing. As someone born and raised in Oakland, California, I've never seen anything quite like this. It's hard to tell whether it's night or day. It could honestly be either. It feels a lot like the Twilight Zone. Wildfires have already burned through more than 2.5 million acres of land this year, the most on record. Lake Merritt is a really popular local landmark here that's usually packed with people, you know, vibing out and having picnics on any given day, especially during the pandemic because outdoor dining here isn't as developed as other major cities. But as you can see, it's pretty empty right now. Everyone seems to be sheltering in place because our air quality has been pretty poor due to the heat waves and the fires. And today it's just downright toxic. Some locals told me that they were able to see it actually raining ash this morning. I kept getting so much ash that I kept to keep on um, wiping my boots off and put more polish on them. And I just paused and see it starting to ash up again. I could see from my window as I was waking up and I was thinking I should just go back to sleep, but I didn't. And then it got more and more orange and looked more and more apocalyptic. Felt like there was a filter on the whole world. Um, it was very disorienting. So these orange skies are really a result of powerful winds pushing smoke from the multiple complex fires and fires in Oregon south towards us, which has also rapidly and dramatically decreased the temperature here. So we literally went from a 100 degree heat wave a few days ago to 70 degrees now. September and October are peak wildfire months for California, which is why PG&E has shut off power to more than half a million people in the Bay Area. It is controversial, but they're doing it in order to prevent more fires during this windstorm that we're having. They also want to inspect the lines for damage, but they have said that they hope to restore power to everybody by end of day Wednesday.